Uh, man, I, I, I was sitting there, Andy, I enjoyed that. But I was thinking, man, I'd like to have about two hours to preach. But anyway, I'm going to share something quick with you. Had a lot going on this week. I know many of us have. Uh, there, there's things that come to my mind. I, I, I was studying messages and, and things would come to my mind, thoughts would come to my mind. Some I didn't get to spend a whole lot of time on them. And this is one of them that's on my mind this morning. So I'm going to give you what I got. There's a word that's not mentioned a whole lot in the Bible. Uh, over two or three, just a few times. I'm not sure just how many. But in Luke chapter 23, verse 43, the Bible said that Jesus said unto him, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. And Jesus speaking to John in Revelation. Verse 4 of chapter 2, he said, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do, thy, do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. And to give this confirmation when he was teaching this morning. So many people just pat people on the back and say, oh, it's a fine. But the word of God said it's a straight and narrow way. Yeah. It's a straight and narrow way. It's a, Amen. And, and I'm telling you what, we're going to stand before God in judgment. Yeah. Amen. The Bible said the books is going to be opened. Then another book is going to be opened, which is the book of life. Mm -hmm. The first book that's going to be open, Ronnie, is our testimony of what we've done. Amen. But the book of life is going to have our name in it or not have our name in it. Yeah. But Jesus said, I want you to tell folks, remember therefore from whence thou art fallen and repent and do thy first works or else I will come unto thee quickly. Remove thy candlestick out of his place except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of, a, of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. But he said in verse 7, and that's what was on my mind, He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that is perfect, no. To him that got everything just right, no. To him that... Helped a lot of people? No. He said to him that overcometh. Amen. Amen. Right, Johnny? Amen. He said to him that overcometh, I will give to eat of the tree of life. He said, before we stop, I'm going to tell you where it's at. He said it's in my paradise. So I started digging. Paradise is a Persian word. Paradise in the Persian language means garden. You know what else I found out? Of all the honors in Persia, Toby, the greatest honor in Persia, for anybody in the land is an invitation from the king to walk in his garden. Yeah. Greatest honor, Brother Andy, of ours is for the king to say, come walk with me in my garden. Brother Ronnie, the King of Kings yeah. and Lord of Lords yeah, yeah. has given us the invitation 
the high star. Brother Robert, that could be offered to mankind. The high starter that anybody could have. The king said, come walk with me in my garden. Jack, I want you to Google something. Either you ain't never done it, and it's a good time to learn. Walk through the garden of my heart. <laughs> it's awful to be Richard Harrod's son and sidekick, but I really appreciate it. He's been there for me when nobody else has. And he'll help me out. But you're here this morning, and I'm telling you what all of us has resisted the call of God. And I know everybody. I preached in a funeral yesterday. My favorite promise of the Word of God is Hebrews chapter 13 that he said, I'll never leave you, never forsake you. That's my greatest promise. But how many of us I have, and don't you say you haven't because Jesus on the cross said, why hast thou forsaken me? He doubted. No, he didn't. The word of God said he said that. So me, first on the list, to say, God, you've left me. God, you forsook me. God, you ain't took care of me like you. Sister Tammy, like I said, and so many of you, my cousin, I'm sure as she was the happiest girl she was 51 years old, happiest woman in, in the state last Sunday when she stood there yeah. and seen her family being baptized. She said, it don't get no better than this. But about 8 o'clock Monday morning when the Lord called her home, even though our hearts is broken, she said, when she began to walk through paradise, with the king. She said, yesterday I thought it didn't get no better than that. But today I can say, it don't get no better than this. You're here this morning and the king's calling you by name and you know it. You're watching by live stream. He said, listen, I want to give you the honor of honors. I want you to walk with me through my garden. Brother Eugene McAllister and uh, Harbor Lights, was that their name? Yeah. First time I ever heard this song, they sung it. Walk through the garden of my heart. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we got to do first, Andy. We've got to say, Lord, you come. We got, he won't come in and invite you. He stands at the door and knocks. But we've got to say, first, Lord, you come walk through the garden of my heart. Yeah. And the songwriter said, what, Brother Andy, calm the storm? Yeah. You know what, Dylan? You found it Wednesday night. Think of that. Poor boy, you're like all the rest of us. I don't know a whole lot about you. I've known you for a few years. But I believe you're like everybody else in the building. You're just a poor country boy. But Brother Dill, the king of kings, yeah. the Lord of lords, as you sit in that pew up there in the balcony beside your grandmother Wednesday night, said, uh -huh. hey, Dill and Meadows, <laughs> come walk through the garden. Come walk through my garden, Dylan. I don't care presidents, kings, mighty men of this earth. It's not a great as honor as when the Lord calls our name. Amen. If you lived in Persia, you'd say, if that king ever calls my name, the old saying, come hell or high water, I'll be their king. But yet when the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, I did it, and many of all of you have done it. 
when the king calls your name, you say, oh, oh, this way, this way. Listen to this song. Are you willing to say, don't you listen for the mistakes, listen to the words. <laughs> I got used to him jumping on me after church a long time ago and it don't bother me anymore. <laughs> Dad, you shouldn't have done me that way. <laughs> Listen to these words. Walk through the garden of my heart. Can we say that to storm the storm, Lord? Lest the pretty roses fail to bloom again. Make the raging wind a gentle breeze. Sunshine, please, Lord. Walk through the garden. Tony, aren't you glad? Said, Lord, come walk through my garden first. Clean things up, pull the weeds. Go ahead, Tony. Walk through the garden of my heart and calm the storm, Lord. Lest job son in closing Jesus said John listen to me folks the 66 books in this word 65 of them are instruction 65 of them are, are it, it, it is a ministry but the 66 book called the book of Revelation it's a vision it's a warning, but it's hope. But Jesus said, John, he said, I want you to get this across. He said, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Who else is going to say it? Lord, come walk through the garden of my heart. Don't put it off. Don't put it off. I don't care if you've been a Christian a hundred years. Come on, Johnny. Praise the Lord. Come on some more, have you? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many in the building this morning would say it's been a long time since he let me walk through the garden? Do I? It's been a long time since I let him walk through my garden. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. I'll tell you what, pride's going to keep a lot of people out of a lot of blessing. And pride's going to keep a lot of people out of heaven. Come on, some more of you needs to come. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh. To him that overcometh, Bobby. Bobby Andy got up here and he said we have to ask for forgiveness every day. And Andy, asking forgiveness is overcoming. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be right there, Debbie. You stay right there. He said to him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Amen. The garden, Bobby, the king, is giving us a grand invitation. Amen. Who else is going to come this morning? Every head bowed, every eye closed. You said, preacher, I'm going to be like you was. I'm going to be like Eva Thompson was and some more. I don't feel like I can make it to the altar, but I'm ready to ask him to walk through the garden of my heart. Would you lift your hand right now? Say, Richard, I want to pray. I want, I want to 
going to pray. Could you lift your hand good and high? Bless your heart. Bless your heart, Dave. Praise the Lord. How many Christians can say, I want him to walk through the garden of my heart this morning. Bless your heart. Praise the Lord. Because when the time comes, I want to walk through his garden. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God, you know our sister's need, Lord. God, you know the burden of her heart. And God, it's none of my business. It's yours and hers. God, right now, I pray that you would help them, Lord, just to unload on you. Say, Lord, I, I, I just, you know the need, Lord. Oh, God, and come down and overshadow my sister as only you can. Let her know, Lord. Let her know without a shadow of a doubt. God, that she's yours. Lord, that, that, that you're there, Lord, for her. And God, you're going to take care of things. God, just give her the assurance right now. Whatever the need is in her heart, whatever the need is in her life, give her assurance right now, Lord, that you're in control, Lord, and you're mindful of it. Blessed be thy name forever. We praise you for all things. We praise you for all that you do. God, give folks courage right now to get out of their seat. Give them courage right now, Lord, to head through this altar. God, you're able. You're able. You're able. You're able. You're able. Blessed be thy name. All you're asking us to do, Lord, is endure, to overcome, Lord. And as Brother Andy said, we can't do it in ourselves, but we can do it with you living in us. Praise you. Zach's going to sing that chorus again. God, give folks courage to come. Walk through the garden of my heart.